Yo, what's good, Prestige community? It's Zav or PMHD here. We're hosting our biggest giveaway ever four modded accounts and six free gift cards of your choice. There are 10 winners to enter. Follow the steps on screen. What's up, guys? It's Glitch Gaming here. And to today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to go from poor to rich in one day on GTA 5 Online. So if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of the latest GTA 5 online money glitches and if you haven't checked out already I'm hosting a big Christmas giveaway which is ending very soon so make sure you go and enter all of the steps and the link will be in the description so anyways in today's video I want to show you how to fill up an account with millions and millions of dollars in just one day so say if your account is already full maybe you want to make another one and fill that one up or you may want to make another one and fill it up to sell it to people because quite a lot of people sell accounts with loads of money on so if you want to do that then create a new account and use this video so I'm going to show you what to do when you're starting off on zero dollars just to get up to a certain amount and then we're going to be doing a money glitch to get you up to the millions and millions of dollars in your GTA 5 online bank account so all of the money methods and glitches that I use in this video, I have already made a video on my channel but I'm going to put them all in one video today to show you how to get lots of money on a new account. So if you want to go and check them out individually, I will leave a link to all of the videos in the description. So to start off, if you've got no money or you've got really low amount of money, you want to start off by getting, I'd say at least 500k because it'll make life much easier later in the video as you won't need to do the glitch as much so as much money as you can get in the start will help out a lot later on and save you a lot of time so a couple of methods that I recommend is doing the slashes new adversary mode so it has got money double money and RP on it right now so if you go on it all you want to do is get a friend or you could just play the game normally you'll still get a lot of money but if you've got a friend all you want to do is just kill each other each round but right at the end of the round I have got a video on it in the description but basically you can get 16k each round will which will make up to around about 200k each game so that's quite a lot of money you can also do the 150 headshots challenge which I think you get 150k or 250k I'm not sure so there's quite a lot of stuff you can start off with to get some money one other thing I recommend if you don't have much time you could do an AFK money and RP job so I'll leave a link to an Xbox Money and RP job and a PS4 one in the description and I'll leave a link to the video I made on them as well. So you can get a bit of money and RP from that as well just by literally doing nothing. Go in AFK, just put your controller with an elastic band on the analog sticks so you don't lag out. Put your controller in charge and stuff like that. You can get, I don't know, a couple of hundred K in quite short time so just get up to a certain amount and when you're ready you think you have a bit of money. To start the glitch we'll then do the apartment transfer glitch to get your first couple of million dollars and then we'll move on to the any car for free glitch which you can earn a lot of money from so i do recommend doing this as soon as you can because this glitch might get patched so anyways what you want to do to start off with is go on to any character it doesn't really matter you only need one character for this so i'm using my female character and what you want to do is just have six garages so they can be the cheapest garages, it doesn't matter. But you need to have six garages, as you can see in slot four, five, and six. I have three cheap garages, because that's what we're going to be replacing. So once you've made sure that you've got six garages, what you want to do is to go onto story mode. And what you want to do from story mode is do the SP to MP glitch. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to the video for that. And it's pretty easy. I've made quite a lot of videos on my channel for it already and you should already know where it is but once you've got the story mode character online what you want to do is go to your second priority plant and you want to eat it and what this is going to do is get your frozen money and this is the frozen money glitch but it's much faster and much easier than the car any car for free glitch because we don't have to do the saving method obviously so once you've got frozen money what you want to do is go to a new session so just make sure that you have frozen money first you can do this by going on your interaction menu checking and buying some ammo and no money should go out of your account all you want to do is go onto a new session so press find new session and what we're going to do is when you spawn into a session 
this will now allow you to be your online character and what you want to do from here is go to any apartment or garage which has a computer because when you're in frozen money you will not be able to pull up your phone quite a lot of people have been saying why can't I pull up my phone it's because you're in frozen money so you cannot pull your phone up at all so you need to go to one of your garages or apartments which has a computer and all you're going to do is go onto the computer and you want to go to the apartment website and you want to buy the most expensive apartments in slot 4, 5 and 6 now if you don't you probably won't have a million yet so say you only have 500k by now what you want to do is go to the 500k apartments and buy the most expensive ones that you can buy and you want to buy the most expensive ones that you can buy and replace them for slot 4, 5 and 6 so as you can see I'm going to replace them for slot 4, 5 and 6 in my property list so once you've bought the most expensive ones you can buy in slot 4, 5 and 6 what we're going to do now is save them and then we're going to replace them when we have unfrozen money so you're basically just transferring the value of apartments to cheaper apartments it might be a little bit confusing but you'll see what I mean in just a second so once you've done that what you want to do is go to creator and when you're in creator you want to press the pause button and you want to go to find sorry you want to go to invite only session and when you're spawning it will now be unfrozen so you should be able to pull up your phone and when you're on your phone all you want to do is buy some cheap apartments so buy the cheapest ones you can buy and you want to replace them for slot 4, 5 and 6 and as you will see you will then get free money because we've transferred the values of the apartments now if you've done this with say you only have 500k and you're buying apartments for like 400k or something you can do this with any apartments what I recommend doing is doing this glitch maybe three or four times until you get maybe three million if you can get up to four million that would be great because that means we can buy the luxo but just try and get up to a couple of million because we're going to be buying cars with it so just do this glitch as much as you want until you get up to a high amount of money and then we're going to be earning the big money so once you've got a couple of million in your bank we're now going to move on to the any car for free glitch so you want to do the sp to mp glitch first just like the last method and you want to get to, into your online character with frozen money just like this so the link will also be in the description if you want to get sp to mp glitch so once you've got frozen money on your online character what you want to do is go to your ceo office or a garage or anything doesn't really matter with a computer again and what you want to do on the computer is now you have frozen money and you have a couple of million in your bank you want to buy the most expensive cars than that you can so if you have over 4 million you should be able to buy the Deluxo which obviously sells for the most I think it sells for 2.8 million but if you don't have that much you want to buy the most expensive car that you can with the money that you have so as you can see I'll put on the screen now what will save and what won't save but if you're just trying to make loads of money from this I'll recommend just using normal cars but if you want to buy other things as well feel free but as you can see you can also buy planes as well but I don't recommend it if you're trying to make money from this because you can just buy the cars and that's much easier and all you want to do is buy them into your garages and if you have a CEO office with garages that's even better because you can store loads of cars in the CEO office so just buy as many cars as you can because your money's absolutely frozen and nothing will be taken away so as I've said I recommend using the Luxo but if you don't have enough money try and buy something that is the most expensive amount of money for you so once you've bought all of the cars that you want what you want to do is go to the garages that you bought them in and you want to make sure that all of the cars have spawned so when you're doing this make sure that you're not buying a garage and then filling them up because the garages don't save so you need to have the garage before you do this glitch and I've now filled up one of my CEO offices just to show you how to do this glitch and what you want to do is go to the CEO office garage and make sure that the cars are there once all of the cars have spawned what you want to do is go to your interaction menu and you want to change your outfit and all you're doing here is trying to get the yellow loading sign in the bottom right corner as you can see I got it there and once you've got the yellow loading sign all you want to do is go outside of your apartment or your garage or whatever you're using you just want to go outside 
We're now going to do a different method to the job where you blow up inside the plane job. What you want to do is open your interaction menu, go to kill yourself. And what you're going to do is when you kill yourself, as soon as you see the wasted sign pop up on your screen, you want to press your PlayStation button and you want to open Media Player or YouTube or anything that suspends your application. So the aim of this is to try and suspend your application before your player respawns again. So just do this as fast as you can and if it's done correctly, when you go back onto the game, you should get an alert screen that pops up saying that it's suspended. You want to accept that and it will put you into a new online session. And when you spawn at that online session, you should be able to pull up your phone and you should have unfrozen money. So anyways, as you can see, when I spawn into this session, and I will have unfrozen money. And if you don't have unfrozen money, then you need to go outside and kill yourself again. And maybe try and suspend the application a little bit earlier. Just test around until you eventually get it. But I got it first time, and I can now pull up my phone. You can also open your inventory, or in your interaction menu and buy some ammo. And if it takes it off your money in the top right corner, it now means that you're unfrozen, and you're ready to do the next part of the glitch. So what you want to do is go to each and every one of the garages that you bought the cars in. So what you're going to do is go to the selection where the blue circle is. And what you want to do is first change your outfit just so you get the yellow loading sign in the bottom right corner again. But what you want to do is go to every single garage and you want to swap all of the cars around. So you're going to swap each space so each car in a, is in a different space from where they originally were. So if you're doing this with the planes as well, you need to go to the hangars and change them around. And if you're doing this with a yacht, you need to change the flag on the yacht. And if you're buying Pegasus vehicles, you don't have to do anything, they should automatically save. So just leave the Pegasus vehicles if you've bought some. But as you can see, I only did this with the one CEO office. So once you've swapped all of the cars around, what you want to do is change your outfits once more so you get the yellow loading sign again and then you want to open media player or youtube or something like that again that will suspend your application and it doesn't have to be any time with this suspend your application you just want to suspend it go back to your game and then you'll get the alert again accept the alert and when you come back onto gta online in a new session all of your cars should still be there so if they're not there then you've done something wrong and they haven't saved properly but all of your cars should still be there. And once you've done that, you can now close application, come back on, and all of your cars will still be there. So now, if you've used Deluxos, then you're just set for life now. And even if you're using a car that's worth like 2 million, if you've bought loads of them, then you can now sell them on, and you'll be able to make lots of money on that account. So just make sure that you only sell one account, sorry, one car every 30 minutes, and no more than 7 every 30 hours at the maximum. So if you wanted to get loads of money straight away, just do that as the maximum, or you could just keep doing the apartment transfer glitch. So Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Maybe if you're trying to make a new account, or even if you're just starting out on GTA, I recommend doing this. Just try and do it while you can, because this glitch is probably going to get patched tomorrow, I would say. Maybe even earlier, but it probably will to definitely get patched tomorrow so i recommend doing this now all of the video links will be in the description if you want to go and check them out individually but anyways if you did like this video leave a like subscribe and until next time see ya Yo, what's good Prestige community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.